Can the idea of capturing carbon pollution from power plants save coal? New York hedge funds and venture capitalists are pushing it. Through companies like Enchant Energy in New Mexico and Glenrock Energy in Wyoming. Lawmakers in Wyoming have already approved higher costs for carbon capture on utility bills. And in New Mexico, Farmington City officials have spent $1.7 million on lawyers to pursue a project. But do carbon capture coal plants ever work out? In Mississippi, carbon capture was abandoned at the Kemper plant after costs went $4 billion over budget. In Indiana, the Edwardsport plant loses about a million dollars a month, and the utility customers pay steep charges for it on their monthly bills. In Texas, the Petronova plant was mothballed because it was uneconomic to run, despite hundreds of millions in federal funding and loans from Japan. In the energy industry, it's always about money. Energy buyers go where costs are low. Carbon capture costs up to five times more than wind or solar and does nothing for families or communities except cost people more money. On Energy Today, we know where we should go.